What if, God forbid, somebody decided or tried to assassinate a donkey? What if somebody went after, I don't know, Nancy Pelosi, Kamala Harris? God forbid. Got to put those in there because uh, you know what? They're going to say, oh, Markowski's calling for this. No, it's a load of bunk. We all know what would happen right now. And this is what's frightening, okay? Um, it, bad enough as it is that we we have an ex-president, someone running for the presidency, been, been tried to assassinate it twice in the past two months. That's bad enough. But you know as well as I do that if the attack went in a different direction to a different political party at this point in time with the type of climate that we have, with the type of media that we have, they'd be calling for uh, censorship, shutting down websites, going after people. Hate speech. We'd hear a lot of that. We'd hear a lot about uh, white supremacy and all of this stuff that's going on there. Terror this, terror that. For crying out loud, the, the media yesterday tried to blame the, the assassination attempt on Trump, on Trump. Let's get that clear. There were media outlets yesterday blaming the assassination attempt on Trump, on Trump. Get your arms around that. Uh, that's, that's where we're at. And I'm going to be honest with you, it frightens me. It really does. Because they will use, they will use any awful event to move the football down the field. That, that is the mentality of people on the left. It's by any means necessary. They feel that, guess what? Uh, they have this belief system. They, they feel where the country needs to go. They've got their ideas. And they believe you can do anything you want to achieve that. Anything you want, lie, cheat, steal, it doesn't matter. And again, a, a, a terrible event, something that kind of, God forbid, it will be used by them to further their needs. What was it? Was it Rahm Emanuel, I think, that said, ne never let a, a good crisis go to waste. They don't. They really don't. Watchdog on wallstreet.com.